This is the best beast jerky in the world. If you are watching this show and you have the hookup, on where we can put Western Survivor beef jerky. We, this company, is an arm wrestling beef jerky company. As this product does good, so does arm wrestling. Does everyone understand that? All right. I love beef jerky. Send me my package. I need to taste it so I can talk about it like Travis. I got some elbow pain. Hold on. Oh, hold <laughs> on. Jamie, uh, Nat Fit, since 2017, he's got big plans for the sport of arm wrestling. 2021, we're glad to have him on board. He's got over 20 different products that uh, range from, you know, kids to old people. So check it out. Jamie Shellen, Nat Fit. Bam. Jamie did not want to be the second sponsor. And for you to give him that introduction. What he paid for was for the beast to say, welcome aboard, Jamie. We love you. The community loves you. We do. Not just because you have arm TV tattoo. He's a genuine good dude. They don't make him any better than that dude. I got a, this is now four episodes in a row. You've been stucking, sticking Western Survivor packaging in my Killing face. It. I got, I got to be honest. I want to <laughs> put more. I'm not lying. I want to put more in I, my. Listen, face. I'm rarely impressed. I'm rarely impressed with, um, with products in general, but I've been drinking this collagen and I feel I'm hopping up in the morning. Well, I'm send me some thing. product. I, right? I ain't gonna... I'm freaking eating this. West. I, I eat the beef jerky. I, it tastes really good. I don't know. Mm. So okay. that's the deal. Okay. So we left off the last episode. Uh, camera, my phone died, which may happen to you. My phone died. I switched and... to my son's phone. So I'm locked in player. You're charged. Are, I am ready to roll until Bub's. Let's okay. me off the hook and comes crying. Basically, we got cut off. We were, I think you and I are confused a bit. When well, it comes you are to definitely, you are definitely confused a lot. No, with each other. You don't, you got a, you got a problem listening, bro. Oh. When it comes <laughs> with, it, when it comes to tournaments, I see the bracket as a, a headache. Like something that I don't want to deal with. Is there any way that I can have an event that just eliminates the bracket, but still get the job done? And you keep trying, you keep wanting, we've eliminated the weight classes by way and only, and you keep wanting to like sneak the bracket in. And I get why <laughs> the bracket is more efficient, but using Texas as an example, having to have somebody plug in, look at a, a weigh-in sheet, take the name, go to the thing, type in the name, and it's time-consuming. It sounds like it sucks. And that's why I want – it's not that I don't listen because you're like, do you not listen? I, I just – eliminating the bracket sounds like a beautiful way to have an event, get the content, get the footage, and still be awesome. But I – you... Okay, hey, forget the word bracket. Let's use the word list. We must list the people right down. <laughs> so yeah. There must be a list, right? Right. So what if Had the list? Had this the lightest. Okay. So that list, right? That list is also a bracket. Okay? Because all I mean about that list is once you make the list, you can go down to a fourth of it and cut it off. Or a third okay. of it and cut it off. Or half of it and cut it off. Okay. So a you're bracket, saying. A bracket does that for you. It's a little difficult to do it with 57 people. Because you got to figure out, are you going to put the extra guys in the high side, the middle, or the low side? Are you going to, if you split it, you can split it into twos, threes, fours, whatever you want. This list. If you decide that you're going to split Keep talking. Keep talking. If you decide that you're going to split that bracket into twos, it's best to use a bracket. If you're going to do it in fours, it's best to use a bracket. 
If you're going to do it in eights, it's best to use the bracket. If you want to do it in threes or fives or sevens, you need to do it with the list. And it's fine. But event, whatever okay. number you okay. pick to split the list up, okay. it is I'm, a weight class. I'm Just sorry. This. I'm sorry for being... Now, the commenters are right about one thing. I'll be honest. When it comes to our discussions, you seem to be far more intellectually capable than I am. As crazy as it sounds, you are not. Why would that sound crazy to anybody? Because you are. I am more intellectual than who? Like, let's say who's the most intellectual person, you know, I'm just saying. (laughs) <laughs> typically you don't have typical amazing athletes who are also scholars it's like one or the other it's like well you can't, i think society you can't, can't help with well society be, society doesn't want that but it's usually i'm just saying hand in hand to I be understand. gifted to be gifted with everything it's like come on it's like i'm not gifted but, with everything i'm gifted with all things arm wrestling that's all no but but ch- in, uh, chatting wise you're pretty gifted too in fact I, I'm thinking uh, the commenters are right. Sometimes I'm a little, a little rockish, and you get it before I get it, and uh, you know it's just the way. Yeah, like a year before you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so forgive me. I'm. I'm. But it took me 15 minutes to download Zoom and put this thing on. So we have our strengths and weaknesses, yeah. right? I mean, you'll so, pop up a new web browser, a new way to do it in two seconds, and I'm like, what? So. I don't know when you say do it by fours or do it by threes by sevens. I don't know what you're talking about. Like if you have a list, you just, if you have 70 people, you divide it by, if I have four weight classes, you would just divide it by four. Why would you wouldn't? You, well, that's, if you wanted to do that, you would use the bracket to do it because this beautiful thing that we have, this bracket, it is, it does it amazingly for two, four, six or no two, Four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. It's like right, what but that's what I mean. Is. Doesn't so, it take a long to? It, okay, let's. You have to make the list, right? So but, when right, the, right. unless oh, yeah, yeah, unless you already line the people up by their weight, you have to then have them weigh in, put their name down. Then in I figured order it out. To split them up, you have to form a list. I figured it out. Yep. When you do the bracket, you have to. Pay a Karen Bean or Denise Waddles no. to come to your event, and they do they because they know what they're doing. And it's all official. With the list, can I give my kid the list and go from top and, and save? You can money? give your kid the list, or you could give your kid a single elimination bracket. Where Karen and Frank are needed is for integrity and weigh-ins, and to run multiple brackets with winner and loser brackets, Th- but. A list, a single elimination bracket, anybody and anybody can do it. It's very easy. Anybody. Yes. And I'm okay with the list. I will never say the word bracket again. So let's talk about the list. You need just, a format on how I just, to divide the list. I just, here's the thing. I'm on a low budget. And so if I want to run an event, I want to know how little can I run it with and still have a great product. That's kind of like, I want you all my two, money. You need two expert referees and then two volunteers. And you should be able to run that thing. No problem. Oh, I'm about, I'm about to break. I'm about to break the internet. Can I do it with one expert referee and just have the class be the down refs? Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Like I just like, know that you're talking about this guy. Dawn, how many matches? How many hours? Uh, when I yeah, say yeah. the two refs, I knew it was just one table, but I thought you'd at least let them rotate out. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to give I you mean, a half hour break here and there. I, I mean, yeah, whatever. I mean, maybe after we have our proof of concept and it's like we're a little bit. What fishy. you don't okay. want is a paid down ref and a paid starting ref. You need just, in my opinion, two starting refs and, like you said, volunteer. Uh, the class, whatever you want. Yeah. It's fine. So just to t- close up on this a little bit, I figured out I need at least, and, and if you disagree, I figured out I would need at least $1,000 per weight class 
to do it on a minimum thing. Uh, a four, three, two, one. 400, 300, 200, 100 place. Now question, if for my first proof of concept, I only had three weight classes, let's say I'm successful and I, I am going to start rolling these out at your events once a month. Uh, and I have a five weight class, uh, 150, 175, 200, 225 and heavies and a thousand per class right hand only, that would give me a 5,000 uh, budget. But let's say before that, I'm thinking, even if you can't come up with a sponsorship, minimum, if I ran three weight classes, that'd be 3,000. I know at least you're gonna have 1,500 in entry fees. So if the entry fees covered half, mean, why, why would you have 1500 in entry fees? Because if I ran that formula, three weight classes, uh, let's just say it's 30 bucks per weight class. Nah, you divide no, forget about that. The, the, the cost of the weekend is $100. Oh, yeah, you get the I, pool, you get yeah, the yeah, pool yeah. right handed uh, and you get to come to the seminar. Right. So right. fine. But at the end of the day, on the budget line, in a business, you have to you have to quantify what that costs versus what that costs. So let's say pulling in a tournament is about thirty bucks, right? It costs thirty bucks to pull in an event. I mean, you can pay thirty bucks. Yeah, that's that's one of the things. I mean so let's take out that you have a seminar and you're doing a one cost. And let's just talk about the, the tournament format. If you divided 1500 by 30, it would give you like X amount of bodies. And I know that minimum I could get that like to show up, correct? I mean, listen, it depends on where you are. I mean, but I do, if you just had the tournament alone and you had three weight classes right-handed, you're telling me that you would get 50 guys, right? Okay, you need you're 50 right. Fifty guys times thirty to get fifty hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. You right. could. I think you would. I think you would get. But I mean, yeah. I okay. Think you could do that. Okay. So that, that would be, be easy, but you know, definitely what, possible. If you only had, if you could only do three weight classes, first, one sixty five, one ninety eight, and then one ninety nine heavy is over. I mean, in is my opinion, fair? in my opinion the steroids that are in the meat that we are eating from Walmart has made our country a fat pieces of shit. So to me, those same weight classes you just listed are now 176, 209 in supers, but whatever, they both represent the same demographic. So is that a, a fair representation of fat America? Either one of those two scenarios is the only way to divide it three times. Either so you 176, go 60, 65, 98 supers, 176, 209 supers. That's the formula. Not 65, 209 supers? No, no, no. Too big of a gap there. You got to be careful with those 209 guys. The motherfuckers will come in, beast. You know, fucking Ron Bath will lose that weight to get that money. You talk about a whole nother person. You got to divide that's, that. That's why I'm talking. Guys that's, why I don't, that's why I don't like the weigh-ins the night before. Oh, yeah. If I was you, I would just make the list and I would uh, divide the list into three and I'd put the odd man at the bottom. You know, I'd make the lighter class the biggest class. And if I had 50 names, I, what's 50 divided by three? It's um, 40. What is that? Nine, 17. Ten, 17. And that would what? 17 times three is what? Well, 51? 15 times three is 45. Um, so 16. You had two 17 well. classes. Let's, and I'm sorry. Let's just say 30 people come, right? Let's yeah. say 31 people come, okay. right? And you had, so you put the list, 31 people on the list, the heaviest at the top, the lightest at the bottom, right? You count down to 11, right? The first class has 11 people. The 11 heaviest go in that little chunk, 
and then the next 10 in the middleweight chunk, and then the, the last 10 lightest guys would go there. That's how I would do it. But what you're risking is having this three weight classes and having 41 guys in the supers, 34 guys in the, um, in the one, uh, in the 209s or 198s. And then you're giving away third or fourth place, but you ain't got but three people in the 176s. Be like, okay. what? What the fuck? Okay. I can't so even do saying- this round robin correctly. So you're s- saying, make the even- list, make the list from top to bottom by weight, divide it into as many categories as you feel like it. Just have a formula for the odd number, right? Because it ain't always going to be 30, 60. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, the last class will have the most. So that would be 10, 10, and 11 if you did it yeah. that way. Right, yeah. which is fine. Yeah, it's all good. And I will, will arm wrestlers who are always on that window revolt? I don't know, but here's the great thing. It wasn't your fault. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't okay. control it, right? okay. I feel it. So we, if I have enough money for three weight classes, I would divide. The we want to do list. six. Though. We want to do six. So you got to take your budget down. What did you say? Five, four, five, three, four. Th- wait, no, four. Okay, I like the math with four, three, two, one. It's an even thousand. All right, so you need to go two, one, fifty, one, and fifty, and you need to do right and left handed. That way we can let them have the right-hand experience, the left-hand experience, and the seminar for the money. And then we use Western Survivor, and we use NatFit, and we use all these people to send a bit of product to our champions. Okay, so what would be the total payout with that 250 It would be three grand. Three grand. So we're doing 1,500 right and left? Right. So we did it. You, you said you were going to do five, five, and five. You need to do 250. Um, you need to do 750 per arm instead of $1,500 for just right. Okay. All right. right. We'll, we'll run some of that math. All right. So it's the same math divided in by two. Same math. Right. The four. So the four, your whatever. sponsors who are funding this, we're, we can get that sponsor. Yeah. We can money? put it in the budget. We can put the $3,000 yeah. in the budget for the tournament. Then we've used the other five, six grand to do the seminar. We try to keep our number below 8,500, right? And then we get, I think that with your format, along with the seminar, that we'll have 150 people and have a $15,000 budget. Yeah. We'll be happy. Okay. And if we don't, if we only get 75 people, we get 75 people. It is what it is. I, here's the thing. I, so I, I, right. I think Ryan Espy's mad at me because I, I had an idea. That yeah, I wanted- I've seen him. What the fuck is he doing all this typing for? Do I need to come up there in Alberta and whip this fucking guy's ass again? So I, I had mean, this. He knows I'm his daddy, right? I had this cool idea. Ever since I-, I started using this cream, I have been Ryan Espy's daddy for that long. Right, I have this great idea for a montage show where I just okay. ask you one question. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? Like in the name of arm wrestling, like I dressed crazy. as man mom. I dressed as man yeah. mom for the weekend. So, awesome. Yeah. yeah. So something like that. So I want to ask random people this one question and Ryan's got a cool story about how he basically cost him his job to go to wall in Vegas and I wanted to hear it, but I never called him back. And it's just because I haven't. Because, <laughs> yeah, because you're a freaking bum who you can well, never get a hold of. Well, one. As soon as your wife gets off work, you are busy. I mean. One, it's hard for me to just ask somebody one question. Like, it's hard for me to pick up the phone, get you on the line of ask you one question. And then I'm going to be like, okay, see ya. And it's like, okay, so then I'm going to be. If I wanted to do 30 people to one question, that's going to turn into 30 one hour conversations. And it's like, Ryan, I apologize for not having followed up with you, but I still want to hear the story. I do. But that being said, he posted online, like holding an event just for YouTube content, dot, 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 questionable, like. 
I'm like, yeah, why what is, that, is he talking about? Why is that questionable? What should we? Sense. What is the proper motivation for running an event? I mean, why does Wall run events? Because they want content. Media, 100% content. It, it doesn't, why does he do his episode? Why did I content. bring him to Moldova? For content. What I mean, wrong with him? the end of the day, just because it's a YouTube channel and you think maybe YouTube media isn't at the same level as other media, I got news for all of you. I've called it. I am ahead of schedule. Bro, there are some, in case all of you out there haven't quite paid attention, there are some YouTube channels that get more traffic than cable news channels. Like, you haven't quite figured out that the, the, the medium and the way things are done is evolving. Yeah, I know, but you I mean, need to know, too, no one no one cares if somebody can get on ABC and CNN, they'd rather do that than this YouTube bullshit too. I want to make sure you know that. Sure. Sure. But cause I want to be on ABC. And that's, there's, it's just, that's old media. That is people in love with old media, but it, it is that it's old. I'm media. in love the, with old media, the, the old media. But my point is I'm never, Every time CBS gets involved, they have their producer. They have their video guys. You've already talked about, I want to produce TV show for CBS. You, then you got to get the, you got to get the, the gotta get a in, trailer. We got to got, get us. You, we need you got, footage. you got to get the people in the union that have the $15,000 cameras. I Gary Roberts am producing media for my YouTube channel. And uh, I'm I'm a low budget dude. I need to do it on a low budget. I yeah. don't have and you're fancy. killing it. So the point is, I don't see many other YouTube channels in the arm wrestling world who look at their revenue, their ad revenue. So I've I've ranged from twelve hundred a month to eight hundred from ad revenue in YouTube. How many other YouTubers, you content creators, are looking at that number and saying, I can't wait to give this away to arm wrestlers. I need to fund, fund my content. I am eager to give that to you. So please don't bitch that I want yeah, to create exact. events. When I'm trying to like Hold give on, it Gary, away, oh, I'm trying to give it away. It's like, dude, it's crazy that you would have Casey any was, disagreements. Casey was just flashing me behind the camera like a weirdo. So that's let me say I, hi to Casey. Well, I, I don't even believe you. I don't believe I don't believe Casey's there. Okay, well here you go. Bye, boom. Casey. <laughs> she was just doing that nasty chick boy. So, anyways, it's weird to me that anyone could complain that I'm trying to create content. I've known from the beginning, arm wrestlers Plus, Express need Ryan Espy. What is wrong with Ryan Espy? He's a good dude, man. He's yeah. a freaking, he should be all over this. What's he talking about? Arm wrestlers need a carrot. They need the look. <laughs> and I don't get content unless it's obvious the arm wrestlers really want the carrot. Dang, it's like, I so gotcha. I got to, I got to dangle the carrot in front of the camera. So to what's content. up with Khabib and Michael Todd? What's up with these guys? Khalil. Oh, you transitioned. Khabib. Khabib. Hey, hold what? that. Hold that thought. Hold that. Bubs, come alive so we can get off of this phone, please. So you notice I got a little red light in the back. I'm, 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 I'm up in my... Uh, see, the spot's getting smoother. I'm up in the game, bro. Yeah, I can tell. West How West. long are you going to live there? Are you living there forever? Dude, well, we're, we're saving money, man. Mad That's money. what I mean. So you ain't in no hurry to get out of there? Not right now. As long as I'm saving money. What about your uh, in-laws? Do they hate you yet? What's the deal? I actually have a really good relationship. It's awesome. That's good. And our living space is separate. I'm downstairs. You know, we say hi and stuff, but I have to go like into their space. I got you. That's sweet. Yeah. Stay there forever then. Fuck it. Bro, 
Okay. The internet wants to know. Uh, Khalid, Khalid, just Khalil, Michael Todd. Right? Isn't it Khalil with the L? Khalil. There's no D, right? Khalid. Oh, okay. Cool. I don't know. Michael Todd went over to Dubai. You watched the footage? I did. We talked about this guy before. You gave me your opinions. You said he looks awesome, but he's clearly new, like doesn't know how to do a few things when he arm wrestled a uh, schoolboy. And now you watch Michael Todd. Off camera, Michael Todd looked really nervous. Is it because, is this guy one of the best in the world already? I don't understand what you, what do you mean off camera, Michael Todd felt really nervous? No, no, sorry, not off camera. On Michael Todd's clip, he went outside the building and Rebecca got some, his thoughts before the match started. So before he went oh, in. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> okay, you know, for being a man at the top of his game, he sounded somewhat nervous. Is I it because, you. anyway. Yeah, I didn't see that, that clip. It, I didn't think that Michael Todd acted nervous. I thought that every single thing that I saw was right on cue. I mean, it's obviously that the dude, if the dude gets the amount of back pressure and setup that he wants, he is a load, a huge load. And it also shows me that if you fight to keep it even, that he'll get uncomfortable and herky jerky. And, um, you know, he seems to not be able to get a hundred percent squared away with schoolboy when he could have beat him if he would have just stopped and waited until the ref said go until he decided. But with Michael Todd, Michael Todd didn't fight for that middle ground. So, you know, he was up there and with his hands super high with that nice cup in his hand. And man, I was impressed with how he arm wrestled after he got stopped. I mean, he, uh, Are we talking about stayed. Khalid or Michael Todd? Yeah. Khalid. Well, yeah, I'm okay. always impressed with Michael Todd. The fact okay, that Michael, hold on, I mean, man. Yeah. in the first match, it seemed to me like Michael Todd didn't hit at all. He let him. So I felt like once I didn't see I, Michael, I didn't see Michael uh, do anything at any match that would make that guy not completely comfortable. Like, I think that that was a match that you let the guy that you think you can beat, you let him get that pressure. I mean, Mike gave him the buckle. Mike did everything that he could do to make that kid comfortable. And that dude's a freak. So it, to me, what I saw was just how more impressive Michael Todd is. I mean, Michael Todd did the same thing with Devin. He had to work his ass off because you got this fucking big handed stud who's completely comfortable getting ready to ratchet on your hand in the straps. And I think that if Michael Todd was to pull a lot of people and he let them get whatever they wanted, that he would be in more trouble than he was with, with Khalib. See, this is the problem with the internet is that, and especially these guys, Larry wheels, Devin Laird, they have fans that don't arm wrestle and they don't know they, they may not know the difference between Michael Todd just setting up and letting that guy get anything he wants versus anything versus like, no, you know, truly yeah, versus Michael Todd when he's pulling Dave Chafee and he's freaking false starting and he's got his big hand up and fighting to the death for every centimeter, you know, and you saw uh, Khalid fighting for that centimeter with schoolboy and causing all kinds of so you know the fact is is a lot of people could beat that guy and if you're not careful that guy could beat a lot of the top guys he's a bad dude so it's one of the frustrating things about the internet all our content right now is sorry i got western survivor i see <laughs> that shit is expanding in your jaw as we speak um it's all practice environment and uh, all these Monday morning quarterbacks, all we have to do is watch this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the thing is, is you must know that everybody's perception is different. And when you just started arm wrestling, you could perceive something there that just isn't there in reality. But it is there if you understand the reality. Like, the reality that 
anybody can beat anybody if I give you everything. You got a good chance. Go ahead and ease into raping me, you know, and then I'll try to stop it. I mean, I don't was- think I truly understood until you explained your setup with Corey West. I don't think I even understood fully what the difference is in those two inches at the end by you. Yeah. Let me tell you what happens with arm him. wrestling. We spend 98% of the time working scenarios that only happen 2% of the time. We hope you like the content. Thanks for stopping by. Please leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Now click that little bell icon so you get notified. This was Gary Roberts and Travis Page in life. Damn it. Do something up. Don't ever say them two names to me.